Well, you know, she, she joined our first class ever. And uh, boy, I knew right away she had an, a, a personality that was outgoing, uh, had a huge smile on her face, very intelligent person. And you could see she was a very hard worker. So it was perfect for starting our program out. I don't think we could have had a better representative. And, and you know, we found out uh, months later and then four years later, no question about it, we made the right move with bringing Brooke into the program. I knew right away she had the potential to be an all-time player when she played. I mean, just her level of play, her athleticism, her IQ, what she did on and off the court, as far as the way she carried herself, the way she prepared from a mental aspect, from a physical aspect. I knew right away she was going to be pretty special, and she had several D1 offers, and she chose to stay here and play for the hometown team, and we were only Division II at the time. She's just so genuine and so humble, and you, it's just, it's just something that she has that you just can't teach or, or it's an ability that she has like any, any great athlete or great coach or, or great professional. Brooke has something about her that just a drive that she has to want to compete, to want to win if that makes sense. One of the tournaments uh, for Olympic qualification, we flew all the way to Poland and um, she had a torn rotator cuff. We weren't sure if she was going to be able to play. Um, and we, she served underhand the whole entire tournament and we ended up taking a fifth place against the best teams in the world who have been preparing, you know, for this moment. I mean, it's the top teams in the world that are the most prepared because it's a Olympic qualification and those points are super valuable. That's like taking a top five finish at Wimbledon underhand serving. It was really impressive. Uh, yeah, her toughness, her drive, her passion, is off the charts. I mean, I work with a lot of different professional athletes from the NFL, PGA, uh, NBA, all over the place, and she is on the top of my charts as far as drive for the sport, the passion for the sport, and of course, toughness. Like I mentioned, the, the Manhattan tournament, I mean, she was literally in tears during every single time out and taking her time to, to wipe off glasses because she was in so much pain, but fought all the way through and honestly still had some phenomenal shots and, and defensive moments. So I, I think that explains it right there. Brooke played hurt a lot and she was still better than everybody else. She was more talented, she was smarter. She saw the game the way most people didn't see the game. She had a higher level IQ. She just knew what to do and when we needed that point when it was 24-24 at that time, 29-29, uh, it doesn't matter where she was, front row, back row, you gave it to Brooke and she was going to find a way to win. She was going to find a way to score. I would see athletes who are some of the best beach volleyball players in the world just go in the tank not knowing where to hit it because, you know, she's going to be there. She's going to read you and she's going to set you up for the shot that she wants you to hit. And uh, that was really, really fun. To do what she did, um, move up the first year we were ranked nationally in the country, I think we were number six in the country in Division II in the first year the program ever existed. And then to transition to Division I and to take the program to some unbelievable wins. I think they were 26 and four her final years of Division I um, student athlete. To do that, uh, that, that's pretty much unheard of. And again, Brooke was a leader of that, that program that did that. And, just to see her win the ASIN championship to come from nowhere. We didn't have a gym, basically, when, when Brooke got there. It was, the gym had just opened up. So um, to do what she did, I don't think anybody thought that that would, could be done. She was one of the best players in program history at FGCU. Um, she's one of the best beach volleyball players in the world. One of the best defenders. She qualified for the 2006 Olympic Games in, with, for the United States. You know how many hundreds and hundreds of players try to get to where she's at? She's reached the pinnacle of her sport just by doing that. So she is more than deserving, more than qualified to represent the ASUN Conference in the Hall of Fame. Some of the best descriptive words of Brooke, um, definitely loyalty. When you take care of her, she is uh, very loyal and she is all the way to the end. She's very friendly. Um, shy, but at the same time can be very funny. Uh, great friend to me, and, and is uh, you know being her medical professional, she's always 
you know, went above and beyond to, to make sure that I was okay and, and scheduling was, you know, easy on me and just always a pleasure to work with. Something you all might not know about Brooke is that she is able to catch baby gators. Um, I don't know what's the chicken or the egg if like that's what contributed to her like defensive speed and <laughs> uh, ability to like change direction and read people or if you know that's a result of her being such a great beach volleyball defender so you guys can help me out with that one chicken or the egg there. <laughs>